<laughs> it's an unexpected sight. Okay, now what's your step going down here, honey? Broadway Joe Namath what as doting grandpa. But there he is houses. with granddaughter Gemma and daughter Jessica. Sounds good. At his home near Jupiter, Florida, 45 years after he played quarterback for the New York Jets in Super Bowl III. Do you feel nervous on a day like that? Do you feel psyched? Oh, you try to be cool. <laughs> you try to convince yourself, you know, all right, this is another game, man. You know, I, I'm ready. Joe Namath was ready, but the Jets were distinct underdogs. The odds makers had the Baltimore Colts winning by 17 points. Namath wasn't buying it. You were at an event, and some heckler called something out to you. And yeah. what did you say? Hey, Namath, we're going to kick your, you know what? And I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. We've been listening to this for 10 days now. I got news for you. We're going to win the game, I guarantee you. And that was that, Fort Pitt. The Jets won 16-7 in a major upset. Joe, you're king of the hill. No, no, we're king of the hill. We got the team, brother. Namath still cherishes his Super Bowl ring. It still fits, uh, it's still in good shape because I only wear it on special occasions. A treasure for anyone, but especially for a kid from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, the youngest of four brothers in a Hungarian immigrant family. He was a star on the high school football team, but also so good at baseball, he had offers to go pro. Why didn't you take them? We had a meeting. We sat around the table. Brother Bob turned to Mom and she said, he said, Mom, what do you want Joe to do? She said, oh, I'd like Joey to go to college. He hit the table with his fist. He said, that's it, you're going to school. That meant taking a scholarship at the University of Alabama. Dropping back to pass. Nano completes one to Williamson for seven. Playing for legendary coach Bear Bryant. Namath led the team to a national championship in 1964. And soon, pro football came calling. The New York Jets reportedly offering an unprecedented $427,000. I, I was so embarrassed. I didn't want to discuss this with these guys. I didn't know how, you know. So I got an agent. You got a Lincoln Continental was part of the deal. Yes, thrown in. yes. That a high school teammate of mine told me to ask for. I hadn't <laughs> even seen it. I didn't know what it looked like. He said, this is the kind of car you need. There. This, is the, this is the short you ought to ask for. Yeah. He became football's first celebrity superstar. You already feel a little bit of pressure? <laughs> well, uh, pressure just makes you go all the more. I kind of like pressure. He was dazzling on the field where he wore white shoes and sometimes a fur coat on the sidelines. And he was dazzling off the field as well, hitting the night spots with a beautiful woman or two on his arm. Here's just one of the things that was written. It said, men wanted to be like you and women wanted to be with you. And I, you know, I grew up in that era. I think that was pretty true. Oh, I wish I had known that at the time. <laughs> <laughs> How would you get the nickname Broadway Joe? I love it. I you love, love it. that name? Yes, because a teammate gave me that nickname. That was right after he posed on Broadway for this Sports Illustrated cover. Joe Namath in Beauty Miss Pantyhose? Yes. We he got even more attention for this commercial. Now, I don't wear pantyhose, but a Beauty Miss can make my legs look good. Imagine what they'll do for yours. <laughs> so I started swimming. But his fame came at a price. You've got two new knees. I've had these since 1992. <laughs> Congratulations. That's 22 uh, years. Besides his scarred knees, there were many more injuries, broken bones, and other lasting damage. <laughs> You know, today a lot of the talk about football is focused on the players' head injuries. Um, you had some concussions yourself. Do you think you had any long-term effects from what happened to you? I, I've been through some things uh, medically. Uh, I've seen uh, some things uh, on my brain, but I've had treatment. 
and uh, I've improved. Uh, <laughs> none of the body was designed to play football. Excuse me, you know, <laughs> football, we're just not designed for. I love the game, but it's time to move on, and so I'm finished playing football, and that's that. After Namath retired from football in 1977, he tried acting. The admission is made with my authority. Even in musicals, like Damn Yankees. I love the hair. <laughs> Don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's pretty out there, huh? But in recent years, he's been involved in various business ventures. Now you can join our team and be the MVP of your next barbecue. And that's the thing about Joe Namath. He seems never to have taken himself too seriously. Even after he was named most valuable player in Super Bowl III. I know how we won that day, and it wasn't just old Joe. I did my part, but just like this big championship coming up, man, these two teams, it's not one individual. But there'll never be another Joe Namath.